What is going on guys, JT Gilly back with another video and today we have some very very cool news about an old legendary coming back to Pokemon Go. We don't know how long this legendary Pokemon is going to be around for, we don't know if any other old legendary Pokemon will be coming back for a limited time. I assume they will be uh, to be honest but I don't think we're going to find out until next Friday which is when the next research breakthrough could happen because obviously you need 7 stamps, you unlock a research breakthrough and yada yada yada. If you guys haven't figured out what I'm trying to talk about, the new research breakthrough has been opened. Uh, I guess it's tomorrow somewhere in the world and the research breakthrough has been opened. It's Someone has gotten their seven stamps. I'm currently on my sixth. It is April 4th right now. My research breakthrough isn't until April 5th at midnight, so expect a video tomorrow of me getting this Pokemon. Um, that'll be an awesome, awesome video. But the new Pokemon, well, the old Pokemon that's back for a limited time is Moltres. Moltres is back in Pokemon Go. We don't know for how long. We don't know until when or if there's a shiny version. Pretty sure there isn't. You never know. We don't know if any of the old legendary birds are coming back or any of the old legendaries in general. Maybe it'll be a new legendary Pokemon every breakthrough. That'd be kind of cool and then it kind of just rotates through there. Or maybe it's completely random every week and then every week it's going to be an old legendary Pokemon. You get a chance of getting a shiny and they just keep repeating that week after week. I don't know. Something like that would be kind of an interesting idea but today's gonna be kind of a short video I just want to get this information out there because it is some pretty popping information and it's brand new so let's get into this article right here by the Pokemon Go hub okay never mind I don't think it is tomorrow somewhere else uh, someone just figured out how to turn their phone 14 hours ahead and that's why they got their stamp tomorrow but as you guys can see right there Moltres is back in Pokemon Go. There it is. Now there's a couple things about it that I'm going to discuss, but it's not going to be like the most awesome Moltres, but it's not going to be a bad one. And I'm talking about its CP. Also its IVs, but I'll get to all of that in a second. So by turning their phone 14 hours ahead or whatever, players all around the world are finishing up their 7th day field research task, and that leads to again a field research breakthrough where you unlock a couple rewards and a Pokemon encounter, which I think everybody expected to be uh, a legendary Pokemon. We thought it was, everyone said Moltres because there was a one there was a screenshot of Moltres that was uh not leaked but shared by Niantic prior to the quest release so everyone was saying Moltres we really had no idea what it would have been but it's nice to know that it is Moltres and it's time to confirm what everyone has hoped for since day one Moltres is a potential field research breakthrough encounter now I don't know how many people have done this research breakthrough uh, already I know I've seen a couple different screenshots so it's it's definitely like it's it's real uh, but I don't know exactly, again, how many. I don't know if shinies are a thing. Maybe shiny Moltres just is coming out yet, but I guess we're going to find out tomorrow when there's like a bigger influx of pictures and, and sources and etc. So we'll see, and we don't know if there's any other encounters. Again, I don't know exactly how many Moltreses have been caught. So maybe there's a high chance of Moltres, but a lower chance of Articuno or Zapdos or something else. Again, you really don't know. We're going to find out in the next couple of days. Obviously, um, after about a week, we'll find out what the next research breakthrough Pokemon is going to be. Uh, hopefully, it's not Moltres. Hope, oh, hopefully, it's not Moltres. Hopefully, it is. We're going to find out. I don't know. If, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want, like, a round of Moltreses for, like, a month. Or if I want, like, a new legendary in every research breakthrough. Or if I want, like, a big pool of random legendaries. I really don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. So, let's talk about the research breakthrough rewards. You're guaranteed 2,000 Stardust. It says 3,000 XP right here, but there have been multiple reports of 2,000 XP, not 3,000. So, I want to say... I want to say it's going to be 2,000, but I, there might be a chance you get 3,000, but you for sure get those two, and then you obviously get the Moltres encounter 100%, which I'll get to the details of that in a second. Um, and then your third one is you get like mystery items. Those mystery items can be uh, three rare candies, five Ultra Balls, five Pineapps, or I believe 20 Pokeballs. So those are your rewards for that. So now, what I'm sure most of you guys are looking for, let's talk about the facts about the Moltres encounter. So you're able to use any berry and any ball combination, which is nice. You're catching a level 15 Moltres, which is not ideal for players with limited Stardust, but it's still a Moltres. So it's going to be lower in CP. It's not as high as it was with the raids, but again, it's still the same. So you're going to catch at least a good one. Like it can be, uh, you can get 100% IV from the encounters, but it's going to be at a lower CP. And it, it, the least it could be is, uh, you know, whatever it is 
the same thing it is for the raids. So the level 15 Moltres' IVs range from 1222 CP to the 100% IV encounter Moltres. Remember this number, 1402 CP. If you get that as your Moltres encounter, that is a 100% IV. But we're not sure if this Moltres can go lower than 101010 10, 10 IVs, which translates to 1341 CP. So 1341 might actually be the lowest one, but... Um, level 15 Moltres in general. I know it's kind of confusing. Just know that the 100% is 1402 and that's the biggest one you're going to get in the in the wild. Pretty cool news for anyone that missed Moltres when it first came out. I know it's been a really long time since Moltres was in Pokemon Go. It's been a, a, not over a year, but it's been close to a year. It's been a good amount of months, a solid amount of months since Moltres was in the game. So this is definitely going to be some good stuff for you guys. I actually don't, uh, I mean, I got a 96 Moltres, but I didn't get a lot of them. So I'm hoping I can get a good one uh, this time around. I think that'd be really cool to get a 100% IV Moltres from one of these encounters. I'm super stoked that the research breakthrough is actually worth it. You get a random, well, I guess not a random, but for now it is. You get a legendary Pokemon um, a chance of it being shiny, we'll have to see. I don't, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But you can potentially get a good IV one, which is always nice. But I think it's just super cool because, you know, every week, even if you, let's say you can't raid in your area, you know, once you complete your seven stamps, you get seven stamps, you get a chance of getting a legendary Pokemon. So let's say legendary Pokemon are hard for you to get because I know that's the case for some of you guys. Um, there you go, you get, you don't have to raid, you just do seven field research tasks. Um, you know throughout the week or throughout however long it takes you you complete your uh, Complete your task you take the reward and seven days later or however many days later whenever you get all seven stamps You get a legendary Pokemon. I think it's awesome But something to note that I don't think anyone's really talking about I have seen tweets of the Pokemon or Moltres running away So be careful. I think it can run away. I don't know how true those tweets are, but just be safe You know golden raspberry curveball excellent ultra ball. You know how it is you want to be safe don't savage season it, Brandon, um, or any of the people who also savage season it. I, I think, if you, just be careful. That's all I'm saying, disclaimer, don't, if you are going to savage season it, you better have a lot of confidence because uh, you don't want to lose a Pokemon like that. Very, very cool news. As you guys can see right here, I am on April 4th, as which is the day I'm recording and uploading this video. One more day until my research breakthrough, and again, as I mentioned earlier, tonight, I'll be completing that research breakthrough. I'm waiting on this reward right here. I'm gonna claim it at like midnight and record that. Uh, actually, I don't know if I'll do that. I might just wake up early tomorrow morning because I'm trying to sleep. Um, but I can claim that reward, get my Moltres encounter, and that'll be an awesome video that I'll be uploading tomorrow. So hope you guys are stoked for that. And again, here's a little picture provided by Leak Duck, a really cool one that explains all the rewards you're gonna get from that research breakthrough. You're gonna get again, 2000 Stardust, 2000 XP, level 15 Moltres, and then one of these rewards, I think the best reward here is the three rare candies. Um, or, well, I mean, that's what I need personally. I need some more rare candies going. The three rare candies is good. Um, and then the five pineapples is good. I'm not really, the Pokeballs and Ultra Balls are, they're good. I'm sure most of you guys could use that. But for me personally, all I want is the rare candies. Hope you guys enjoyed today's short video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know in the comments if you guys have encountered your Moltres or whatever you've encountered. Let me know in the comments. And I hope. Hopefully, uh, when more people start getting this, you know, when it's actually legit, when people aren't, you know, putting their phone 14 hours ahead or whatever, um, hopefully, maybe Shiny Moltres comes out. I guess we'll find out tomorrow um, if that's a thing. Hopefully, um, there's some other legendary Pokemon. We need to see more details. Kind of sucks. Uh, I guess that's kind of the fun of Pokemon Go. They don't explain everything, so we're going to have to find out things on our own and uh, collectively as a community. But again, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Good luck on your Moltres encounter, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.